And Father, we thank you for sending the Holy Spirit to indwell us, to live in us, to walk in us. Our body is your dwelling place. We thank you, Lord, that you said in your word that at that day we will know that you are in the Father, the Father's in us, and you dwell in us. We thank you for the day had come. We thank you for wisdom and revelation knowledge. In Jesus' name. Let the redeemed church. I said the redeemed church. Whom God has redeemed. God has shed the blood of Jesus for us at the cross. And the victory is ours for proclaiming. Say amen. 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 You may be seated. It is right. The victory is ours for the claiming. All you have to do is claim. You don't have to try to win it or do anything to accomplish the victory. It has already been won. The price has already been paid. Just, it's just like salvation. There's nothing that you have to do to receive, to, to work for salvation. Just receive what mercy and grace have done. That's how we receive everything else. It's nothing, all the promise of God has been already won at the cross. It is yours for the claiming, for the taking in the name of Jesus. Just believe what has already been done. Don't try to make nothing and cause it to happen. We cannot. But well, if we have faith in what God has done, the Holy Spirit will manifest. Yes, God. Well, today we are teaching on, continue, teaching on spirit to mind me. Yes, God. You have to be spirit to mind in 2021. Romans 8 and 6 says, to be fleshly minded, you know, I'm not going to die if I walk with God. Because the Bible says, to be fleshly minded is death. I'm not going to die in a situation. You're going to live in a situation. Yes, Come on, dog. To be spiritual minded is life Come on, and peace. We will have peace in 2021 yes, because we are going to renew our mind. Yes. And the Bible says that if we spiritual minded, you automatically have life, abundant life, the, the, the fullness of life, and peace. In every situation, we will have peace when we think spiritual. Yes. My mind determined by peace. Your mind, your mind determined your peace. It's not Sister Juicy, it's not Brother Doe, it's not the leader, it's not the TV. My mind. My mind determined my action. I cannot blame it on you and say I got upset because you got upset. That's no. Right. That's right. No. My mind determined my action. If I got upset with you, I wanted to get upset. That was my mindset. But in 2021, our mind is going to be so in tune with the mind of Christ. That whatever come, whatever may, we are going to live by the word. The word. The word. The Bible commands us to live by not some of his words, but by what? Every word. If you can live by every word in every situation that comes upon you, <laughs> look in your Bible and find an answer in the word. And live by the an answer until it's manifested. That's good. Living by the word, walking by the word, reading the word, singing the word. We need to create our own songs now, word songs. Say to yourself, because the word of God possesses what? The life and the spirit and the Holy Spirit of God. It's amazing that God would give us a word with himself in it. There we go. And he said, if you would live by the word, you will live. Myself will live in you. Because in the beginning was what? The Word. And the Word was what? With God. And the Word was what? God. So when God said to 
need to live by every word and it's powerful. The word is the word of God is more powerful than any word in the universe. There's not a word in the universe that can overrule the power of God's word. Now, what you come up with, I mean, the knowledge we come up with, that is good. But whatever knowledge we have is no match with the knowledge of God's word. Right. Nothing will ever be able to overrule or be more powerful than the word of God. The Bible said God is upholding everything through Jesus Christ by the power of his word. By the power of his word. There's not a word in the universe that can uphold anything. But nothing. God would never create a word and give it to man that is greater than him. Yes, it would be crazy. No, never. That is why the believer, we are the most blessed people that ever lived upon the face of this earth. We are more blessed than Abraham, Isaac, you can name them all. They never had the privilege of being called the temple of God. They never had the privilege of God saying, know ye not that your body is the temple of the living God and that God dwells in you and that the spirit that in you, oh God, he placed it in you. They didn't have that privilege. We have the privilege of walking around with the spirit of God dwelling in us. Amen. And I always wonder, how can we live a defeated life you know how we can live a defeated life? Defeat, victory starts in the garden of your mind. If I have a defeated mind, I will live a defeated life. Everything that I see, I will speak death on it. Because victory, death, and life come from your mind. Yes, your tongue form it, but your tongue does not have a mind. This your tongue will Tongue needs somebody to work it. And you form your own words with the thoughts that are in your mind. That's why the Bible says, be renewed in the spirit of your mind. If the mind is still has thinking the same old way before you got saved, Honest to goodness, you can look in your life, you respond to life in certain areas the same way before you got saved. Yet you know victory because your mind has not been renewed in the word of God. See, if you renew your mind, the word is not knowing the word. We all know the word. But the life. The Bible says, my word are spirit, John 6, 6, and 3. He said, my words are spirit and they are life, right? Yeah. When I renew, when renewing my mind, I must apply the application of practice the word of God until the Holy Spirit manifests the life of God in my life, the spirit of God in my spirit. Now I'm being renewed. But until the Holy Spirit manifests what is in this word. See, the Holy Spirit possess changing power. Amen, amen. Holy Spirit only changes things. But I would say, let there be light. What happened? The Holy Spirit changed and made light. Whatever God will speak, the Holy Spirit will make it happen. The Holy Spirit possess power to change situations to change things according to the word of God. Whatever you believe and have faith in it, the Holy Spirit will make it happen. Because it was sent to do one thing, teach us, bring all things to our remembrance, and to exercise supernatural power in our life according to what we believe. That's why God says all things are what? Possible. It's your thinking again. All things are possible. He didn't say to everybody that's a Christian. He said to them. It's a few of them not going to believe. He said to them. To them. Let me tell you, just because you're a Christian, just because we come to church, that's because you read the Bible don't mean that you believe it. That's right. That's right. You know why? James said to us, said, why just go to church and be a hearer of the word? And never 
practice the word. That's right. That would become a doer of the word. That's and right. James said, you know, you can't even blame the devil. You are deceiving your own self. Wow. I will not self-deceive myself in 2021. So you don't need, you can't even blame the devil. You are deceiving yourself when you come week after week, Sunday after Sunday, just come to church, hear the word, God convict you, and you never change. He said that is self-deceived. Amen. We will not be self-deceived this year. To come to the Bible said, be ye uh, steadfast, steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Well, we come, do we remain steadfast? No. Do we abound in the work of the Lord? No. But you know it. We all know that death and life is in the power of your tongue, but when you talk to people, all they're speaking is death. Come on, Doc. No life. Talking the problem. Talking the situation. No life. Just have church. Come on. On the parking lot. On the parking lot even. Come on. Speaking death all that on the parking lot. Losing spirits that's going to defeat your life. Loosen spirit that's going to harass your life to no end. Loosen spirit that will make your life completely miserable. Because that's the devil's job. Is to make God's people as miserable as he possibly can. He said, if you let me make you miserable and you don't believe your God, I'm going to do a number on your head. See, he works with your mind. See, you run for him to come in and steal from you. Take some clothes, take something, but the joke is wrecked with your mind. And nothing you can do. You cannot do it. The, you, the mind is a spirit. The devil is a spirit. He worked with your mind. What did he work out of? He worked out of the old lust and off your flesh, things that you have in your flesh. He brings something new. He only feed and get his power from the lust of your flesh. What you think, what you used to do, what you else in your mind. Amen. Only thing that bothers me is what's in my mind. He don't bring nothing new. He don't have to. He got a lot to choose from. And he take <laughs> he take your own mind and work you over that. Come on now, we all know that how the devil can work in your mind. You would think a lot of people that talking to you, he just make you so so miserable. And that's why I said, if he was alive, I, all of us would be in jail. Because wow. we be fighting each other who gonna kill him first. <laughs> we be shooting each other trying to get to the devil. <laughs> really? The way that he make you feel at times. You feel like a nobody sometimes he speaks things to you. You feel like you are not worthy of nothing. You feel like you deserve everything that you can get back. That in your mind. Nobody don't have to tell you that. It's what you basing on. You basing on how you used to live. Oh, yes. All the time the devil said, don't you know that the Bible said we confess, confess our sin, that he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sin. And not only that, he said the blood of Jesus Christ will cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Do you believe that? Until you believe the devil will take your past and make you wall in your past. Amen. Yes, we will. But all the time, victory has been won for you at the cross. Hallelujah. But he said, until you realize it, I'm going to make you miserable. I know you're the temple of God. I know the spirit of God dwells in you. But until you realize who you are in Christ, you will still live and face life like you have no one in there to help you. But yet you know the greater one is in you. But until the greater one can prove that it's in you, you just know it by word, not by knowledge, not by reality. Because if I believe that the greater is he, who is he? God Almighty himself, the spirit of the living God, the supernatural power of the Holy Ghost. If I believe that they live in me, man, I'm stand up to any demon, any prophet, any situation, because I know I'm sure to win. Why? I'm not standing on my own. I'm standing up with the victory and standing up in me. There's no struggle and fighting to have victory. The Bible says, whosoever believes that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, you don't have to try. He said that makes you an automatic overcomer. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. The Bible says that person 
It's an automatic. I overcome for what you believe. What you believe can cause you to get over. But we fight to get over. We struggle to get over. Not believing who we are in Christ. Spirit of mind. Spiritual mind. I know what else. He's the Bible said we are born of the word. If we born of the word, I think it's in First Peter. He said we are born of the word. If I'm born of the word, you know who's in the word? Bless you. I'm not hit. I have a mind have to go. If I'm born of the word of God, who is in the word? God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. That is invested in the Word, in His Spirit. So the Bible says we are born of His Word. That's why He said that which is born of the Spirit is what? Spirit. Our spirit is born of God's Spirit. And that which is born of flesh is flesh. We are born of God. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and even David that we clown. You know, we just get blown away with what he said. That's good. But he was not born of the Spirit of God. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. We have what he wrote about. Come on. back and wonder how in the world many on uh, that I allow you should find out the devil to get away with so much. Yes. Yes. There's a day going to come in your life that you're going to wake up one morning and realize how in the world Jesus. what in the world was I thinking about yeah. to allow the devil to make me feel so bad and so down and so high like a nobody all the time. How did I let Get away with that. But all the time the Bible said, Nay, in all these things, you are still, you are still more than a conqueror to him that loves you so. You are still, yeah, you messed up, but God said you're still more than a conqueror. Yeah, you did all the wrong things, but read the Bible, God said you still something. You still something. You still more than a conqueror. Yes, I might not be happy with your life, but one thing. You are. Oh, you still my child. Yes, and I cannot deny it. Yes, and you still yes, more than a conqueror. Yes, Mind must be renewed. Yes, must get past what you feel and what you think. Yes, Your mind must get past treating God like he's a natural father. Yes. Yes. Real much yes. that is, when you mess up, a natural father punish you. A natural father get upset with you. God said, I'm not like your father. And you hear that, well, God not going to bless me. God said, I'm not like your father. Your father take the keys to the car. Who you mess up? Your father will put your punishment when you mess up. But I'm your spiritual father. I will correct you through your spirit, but I will not put your punishment. I still want you to praise me. I still want you to worship me. I still want you to magnify me. And all of your mess up and all of your down, you still have left up holding hands in the sanctuary and bless the Lord and magnify the Lord. I will not withhold my ears from listening to your praise. Your father will, your mama will, your mama will shut you out and put you in a room. But I will not do that. That's what Swag got over. He's still my Lord. He's still your God. 
He is still worthy of my praise. Hallelujah. Even though you might be so low down, but if you lift your hands up, God said, you are not. You're still worthy. I may be down and out, but I want you to know you were still worthy of my praise. I want you to know that you still my King of Kings. You are still my Lord of God. You are still my Prince of Peace. You are still my Emmanuel. You are still my Lily of the Valley. 